Today we're going to be talking about food because your stories about food can change the world. Let's go! What are the things that you do to try to eat healthy? What is your favorite vegetable? Tell us your story, man. What do you eat? Sometimes you go to the store and like two apples would cost more than, I don't know, one cheeseburger at McDonald's. I used to be a lot of junk food when I was little because that used to mess with me. Then um, I started wrestling when I was younger in freshman year and I got all into it and I was like, man, I gotta get into shape. I like lost 47 pounds. I used to eat like a lot of junk food. I drink soda all the time. And then when I took that decision and changing my the way of eating, I just basically stayed that way. Instead of going out to me and spending money, just home cooked meals. Like good home cooked meals, and vegetables, and healthier stuff. If I know where my food is coming from and I can inform other people that what they're eating is right or, well, not right or wrong, if it's good or bad, I'm being a food patriot. I stopped eating a lot of junk food now, leave it, eating a lot of salads and proteins, less carbs. And less yeah, look at this guy. No more McDonald's or Burger King. It's not good for you. Air chicken's not good. No, no. I wish the cafeteria had more healthy foods and choices for us to eat. It's a struggle out here. From the vending machine, what is in there that can seem healthy, slightly? Well, from the vending machine, I can probably say the game bar. Uh-huh. But since you see, as you can see, nobody buy buy those. They all buy all the chips and stuff on. That ain't healthy. I usually barely eat here. The, the, when I do eat here, that's when I'm super hungry. Because that's why I have no other choice. It's not like I can walk out the building and go, like, hey, go to Subway. Cut. 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 <laughs> Fine. Cut. Yeah, I think they'll edit it. <laughs>